Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I thought we would discuss photography and how that's super important to creating a great painting. And I thought I'd tell you a little story about a recent photo shoot I did in Hollywood and just what you guys can do as painters to uh, get a great reference photo in order to make a great painting. So I recently drove up to Hollywood and visited my friend uh, Priscilla, who's an actress, and she has the coolest apartment in Hollywood that's sort of this 1920s New York style apartment with huge windows and just a, a great vibe to it. So when I saw that she was living there, I thought I really needed to do a photo shoot in that place. Instead of doing my usual uh, shoot where I take a digital camera and set up lights, I thought I'm going to go completely just with film on this one and use the natural light and just sort of see how it goes, take things a little slower because it's with film and uh, like I use this Leica camera and it's all manual, you just have to set your aperture and your shutter speed and measure the light. So I really needed to slow down and take my time and we had a blast. It was a great shoot. She has an amazing look and mixed with this uh, a cool architecture, it was, it was really fun. We did some shoots around her space and then went down to her garden area which was a, a real treat because I didn't even know this was going to be there but it had a beautiful fountain and some overgrown trees so it really made the lighting diffused and nice and uh, just added this extra character to the whole situation. Like many of my shoots, she did an outfit change in the middle. Sometimes in photo shoots, the models will change outfits multiple times so I can have different looks for different paintings. Um, but yeah, it was a great shoot. Uh, because it was with film, I only shot maybe 70 photos, like two rolls of film, versus uh, with digital, I would normally do like 500 photos. And here's one of the paintings I did uh, recently from it. I'm planning on doing many, but this was just one of them. One of my paintings with just a white background, just, just sort of focusing on the figure for this one. So I wanted to talk a little bit about how important photography is for painters, because I think sometimes it can be overlooked, sometimes it's just like people take a quick photo for reference, but they're not really thinking about the big picture of photography. And I think uh, getting a film camera is actually a great way to, to learn the basics of, of knowing the lighting and understanding just technically how your camera is really working rather than just taking some quick uh, point and shoot shots. So I would recommend getting a cheap film camera and experimenting with that and and just really spending time thinking about the photography process because when I do a painting, I have a way better shot at the painting turning out good if uh, my reference material is good. So uh, I could spend hours trying to make a bad photo look good and it will never be as good as if I started with something amazing from the get-go. I wouldn't focus too much on 
uh, like how good the camera is. I don't think that's as important um, as you composing the scene and lighting the scene well and really experimenting with different angles and trying to uh, use this as an advantage of like getting shots of the person that you wouldn't be able to get if you were painting them from life. So you can sort of get those split second um, emotions and facial expressions that maybe you wouldn't notice if you're painting the person from life and also just like unique angles and lighting that would be hard to do from life. So those are the benefits of working from a photo on top of the fact that I don't have the money to just have a model sit in my studio all day long and paint them from life. Even though that's fun, it's just not practical. So for me, because I've spent a lot of time learning how to paint from life, now I feel completely comfortable using a photo and knowing how to translate that to make it feel more lifelike. So practice from life a ton that's always great to do and, and necessary but it's also necessary to learn photography and and use that tool just as much as you would use any other tool for your painting. I'll show you a little bit about this camera. It is an old 1950s camera. It has um, the shutter speed that you just lock in here and the aperture is on the lens focus and then I have this little device up here that helps me measure the light so it'll tell me what my shutter speed should be and what my aperture should be. Really enjoy this camera, it's super fun. It's always nice to find new things to add to your routine to sort of get new inspiration or just new excitement from it. So for me, adding film into my process was a great um, way to just spice things up a little bit. And I still use digital a lot and probably will continue to mostly use digital for photo shoots just because I can get so many more images. But um, yeah, great way to learn the basics and sort of get back down to slowing down and thinking about your composition a little more rather than just clicking off a million photos. And I think um, I'll post a time lapse of this painting in my next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, look at photography and if you have more questions about photos and photography, uh, I really enjoy the subject. I like it just as much as painting and I'd be happy to do more in-depth uh, video about photography if you guys are interested. So I um, hope this was interesting. I know it's a little bit different than my normal videos, so let me know in the comments if you guys liked it. And of, of course, subscribe and like. That helps out a lot. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.